How's it going guys? It's going off grid. And we are in the, I guess, the, just over halfway through this uh, bit of a blizzard we've been getting. As you can see, it's fairly deep. It's settled now. It, probably now that it's packed down, we got a little over a foot. Uh, snow's starting to accumulate on the panels again. I just cleaned them off a few hours ago. All of them are getting real covered, so we're gonna go start the generator. Uh, it's been uh, quite cloudy uh, since I moved up here for in the winter times. And uh, the previous years before, it's been so cold that uh, the colder it is, the less clouds you get. But it's been so dang warm the last few years. It's been quite cloudy. But I mean, we're, I'm sure we're going to get back into those cold, cold winter years again. But uh, yeah, it's a good thing we got a tractor with an eight foot snow plow or snow blower. Works awesome. I just fueled up the Yamaha. We still got the Champion dual fuel. This thing still works great. I'm very happy to have it as the backup. I actually had my, uh, my father-in-law starting this for us. We went to Great Wolf Lodge with the kids. They've never been. And I had him just fill it up, run it till empty while we were gone. It was cloudy every day and snowing, so there's zero solar. So that's what we did. I went through two two cans of fuel, but uh, yeah, that's the only time this thing ever gets run is when we're not really here, just because it can run right till empty. I don't like running this diesel right till empty. So I bought a, a an auto start for it. It's coming in the mail. Got it from California. And I will that'll make it so I can have remote start in my house and I'll make it so I can hook this up to my uh uh what's it called? Uh my midnight solars. And when the voltage hits a certain point, it'll trip and it'll it'll start this thing. And then when the voltage is higher than a certain point, it'll shut this thing off all automatically. I won't have to worry about it. I'm getting a big uh, skid tank. Uh, I think it's three or 400 gallon skid tank. And then I'm going to not use the tank that's in here anymore. I'm just going to run a hose to the skid tank. And then the whole system will just be fully automated. And I'll be able to override it with, uh, with my remote start. <laughs> Another thing I added was a light in here and a block heater. So it did not come with a block heater, so I added my own. It's just stuck right down to the bottom of the oil pan. I, um, it's, I, I think I started the block heater about an hour ago, so this should be really quite warm, I would think. I don't know, it's only 75 watt block heater, but let's see. We got 213 hours on this thing because I, I don't like charging. I could charge at like 150, 200 amps, probably 150 amps and have probably 70 less hours, but I like the charge only at about five, 6,000 Watts. I'm being really easy on the generator. It's not like struggling all the time. Um, and it leaves lots of power for running stuff in the house. So I, I rack up the hours a bit more, but I mean, it, it also lasts longer on a tank of fuel by using uh, last like a tank, a, a full tank lasts me at least 12 hours of running, if not more. Uh, probably, tw yeah, 12 hours. I never run it even close to empty though. So yeah, I'll probably get more than 12 hours of running on this thing. Let's, let's start this thing. Cold start. It's not really, I guess, cold start. We'll see exactly. Cause I did have the block heater on. There's our glow plugs. Tesla battery soon. I'm just uncovering it. 
and uh, had some stuff on top of it. Just started my uh, garage uh, fireplace for the first time in a very long time. Okay, I had some people asking for a house update. Well, it's not even close to done. Um, I am trying to build this without a mortgage. So I still have some a, a little bit of debt on it, but not much, not uh, enough to get a mortgage. Um, I'm going to be putting a metal siding on the outside. It looks exactly like vinyl siding. You can't even tell the difference, but it's metal. I'm First, I'm going to finish staining all the plywood because I just want it uh, stained behind even. It'll just help it last a little longer. I went with the ICF basement. I did all, it, it all myself. Right there is our, it's the main power coming into the house. It's buried up until that point. I just got to, I don't know, fasten it to the ICF a bit. As you can see, I used blue skin and then I covered the blue skin with um, uh, liquid rubber because blue skin is not UV rated. And then because I have no ease troughs, it uh, eroded away. So I got to paint a little bit more or bring some more dirt up there. You can see all across here. I, I built this deck essentially just to build get the metal roof on. So I put all the metal roofing on the deck. But then now we got also a deck, so it's quite nice. Um, it's a fairly large house with a very large garage, and it also has an apartment which I rent out. Uh, it's very, it's quite finished on the inside as you'll see. And then we got that strip there. We got to finish staining. We ran out of stain, and then it got cold, so we couldn't finish. This is the uh, front of the garage here. Got our black garage doors. Up above is the apartment. It's very messy. I'm in the middle of tidying. But uh, let's see here. Oh, it's nice and warm from that fire. I just built that shelf today. I'm hanging things and putting stuff up there. I got all kinds of construction materials and tools and tires. And this is a backup propane fireplace for the apartment because that's its only source of heat. And I already had one stop working, so I bought another one right away as a backup. We got a fridge freezer in here. I'm still working on poly everywhere. We went with the white side out, so for flex, lots of uh, light. And then this side I had just had clear poly, so I put the white poly on the roof so that it would reflect light. And yeah, got a nice fire going in here. There we go, just got some scraps, construction scraps. Looks like we're already sitting at over 400, so I'm gonna close this down a little, make this wood last a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, it's already pushing lots of heat. I put uh, concrete, my father-in-law put concrete board all the way around for me, around the ICF. He also put uh, drywall. So it goes drywall first, then concrete board. So this is nice and safe. And yeah, we're just working on cleaning up this garage. It's been uh, a place just to throw stuff for so long. And uh, just starting to clean it up. Got this pile on top of the Tesla battery. This is what I'm working on cleaning up and moving. So much stuff. And then we're going to dissect that guy. Yeah, and then we another project I have is uh, putting this generator head on the back of the tractor and the box blade. And then I'll have a 7,000 watt uh, generator wherever the tractor is. And yeah, that's it. That is the garage. Now I'll show you the house. Okay, so this is where you're coming from the garage. There's also a door to go outside right here. And... This is kind of like our, our basement living room, I guess. We got a, our TV here. and This is where all the kids play with their bikes and stuff because it's the basement. It's where we're sleeping right now. We're sleeping in the basement while we uh, finish off the upstairs. We have a bedroom right there. 
it's a quite a big bedroom for uh, my oldest and my second youngest. Uh, that's the furnace room there. Then we have the laundry room there. Then we have another kids room there, or bathrooms there, our rooms there. Uh, this is just like the crafts table there. My computer desk there. Uh, my wife's computer desk is there. <coughs> we have our wood fireplace here with one of those uh, little explosive fireballs at the top. I want to get another one of those. I want to have two in this area. I also have one of those in my um, solar shed there with all my solar stuff. And yeah, it's very messy. We got to clean that up. We normally clean it up when we clean out the ash and then it gets all dirty again within a week and then we repeat. We got a little bit of fresh oxygen and some veggies here in the basement. It's quite nice. And yeah, and then uh, so that's the basement. There's the stairs going upstairs. Here's the framing. We have 14 inch by two and a half wide TGIs, 12 on center. And then we have a 16 inch four ply LVL spanning 18 feet. Uh, this was all engineered. We have, my family has pretty much everything. We have mechanics, we have engineers, we have carpenters, we have electricians, everything you need to build a house. The only thing we don't have is a Finnish uh, concrete guy, but I mean, we found one anyways. And yeah, let's go upstairs. Then as we come up the stairs, this is our great room. We have our table. This is our actual living room that we use. We just use the wall with the projector. And then this is our kitchen. Kitchen is done. Um, the tongue and groove on the roof is not done yet. Uh, started. This side is mostly done. But we just got this section to finish. Um, the flooring is done, except for this flooring is absolute garbage. I'm ripping it all out. It's already doing this after a year. We actually glued this down because this kept coming up. All this, it's just, it's coming apart everywhere. And I think this is called the Logic Core. It's sold at Home Hardware. And it's just the worst flooring I've ever done in my life. And I've done tons of flooring. It's just coming apart everywhere. Anyways, uh, what I did in the apartment, I used the same stuff, but I, glu I glued everything together and it's been holding it right. But uh, in the instructions, they don't say to glue it. So um, we got the deck here. All right, it's about time to shovel it off. It looks like it's got about two feet of snow on it almost from all the, from it sliding off the roof. That goes into the apartment. So 1,250 square foot apartment over there with two bedrooms. And over here are the bedrooms for upstairs. This is very unfinished now. This is, we're not sleeping up here yet because, well, we're still finishing it. And we just got, we got uh, beds just for when we have company over and stuff. We do have lights. They're not uh, in the ceiling yet, but... Uh, I just got a mattress, I built a frame for it. And yeah, we got, when they have they have kids, they got a playpen there. Uh, this is gonna be our master bedroom, or bath. There's another playpen there for whoever comes over with kids. Pretty much everybody we know have, has kids. So, and then this is the main bath right now. It's not finished, but I mean, it's usable. Got lights in here too. Then bedroom number two, just an air mattress on some Tyvek so it doesn't get popped. We got tug and groove in here to finish the ceiling because it's not finished yet. Nice big window. You can see all the solar panel stuff uh, in the front yard. Still got some drywall to do as well. We got drywall missing all over the place. This is uh, where the kids kind of just play with their Lego and make a huge freaking mess, but yeah, they like it, so 
and again when we have people over this is where uh i guess some of the kids sleep in here and then the parents sleep in the room across there but yeah that's it that's our uh that's our house it's uh not done yet not even close but i mean very very livable and uh yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, please ask it in the comment section.